On Monday, the 23rd of September, President Biden will welcome the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to the White House. Now, this will be the first ever visit by a President of the UAE to Washington, so it's a historic one. The Vice President will also meet separately with President Mohammed. Both the President and the Vice President have spoken with or met with President Mohammed at multiple points throughout the administration, and we look forward to the opportunity to have face-to-face -face discussions here. In particular, the President and the Vice President will discuss a number of bilateral and regional matters together with, with areas of deepening cooperation in advanced technology, clean energy, space, supply chain resiliency, and critical infrastructure investments. The UAE has made a number of recent announcements with respect to strategic investments in climate and clean energy, all of which build on the partnership to accelerate transition to clean energy, or otherwise known as PACE, which we signed with the UAE two years ago. We look forward to expanding this collaboration over the coming months and years. UAE is also, we might add, a leading partner in the President's Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investments. Advanced technology, I think, will also be a focus of this discussion, including efforts to advance responsible artificial intelligence goals. Now, in the region, President Biden and Vice President Harris will discuss with uh, President Mohammed, obviously, the, the crisis in Gaza, UAE's essential role in addressing the humanitarian crisis there, and the crisis in Sudan, where, as the President's statement made clear last night, we all, all must increase efforts to open routes for humanitarian assistance and ultimately to secure a ceasefire. The President and the Vice President look forward to this important engagement with a strategic partner uh, at a very important time.